Hello, welcome back to some more Community Shuffle Pokemon Sapphire. Let's jump back into things. We're gonna go on an adventure as per usual. Let me turn my Game Boy Advance on. Uh, where is it? It's over here somewhere. Hmm? Where is the button? There it is. Okay. So, uh, last time we did a few junk things. Uh, basically, well, we got up to um, the island uh, we are with the second gym leader, but then I realized like, yeah, this is gonna be difficult taking on the fighting gym leader So I uh, went on ahead because of course you can do that and uh, I got the XP share and I did all that now uh, Yeah, uh, first of all, thank you to Roche Jacob shout out to you um, Because you commented down below one of your uh, favorite Pokemon, which was a uh, shop it Of course, that'll be the comment on the screen right now for the time being, I've already transferred the egg over, that's the reason why I'm uh, on the second floor of the PC right now. Uh, but let's go down and let's uh, jump back into things, first of all, with uh, choosing which egg to take along with us. Um, it is very strange that I've always get this uh, frame with the three starters at the top. Uh, if you remember the first episode, we had the Kyogre and Groudon uh, banner, or whatever you want to call it. Which I found really cool, but I guess we're not doing that anymore. Uh, either way, I'm going to do the shuffle right now, so we have um, six, uh, we have ten eggs here. Uh, and again, if you haven't commented down below your favorite Pokemon uh, yet, and uh, you want to join in, then uh, please, please feel free to jump in and uh, comment down below, and I will uh, include it from the next video. But for the time being, let's do the little shuffle. So, let's take a look. One to ten, we got seven. Okay, awesome. Uh, I think this is actually seven, right? Ten, uh... Nine, eight, seven. Yeah, it would be this one, I think. Sorry, just a quick cut. Um, the OBS uh, output was lagging for a second. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it would be this one. So let's put that back in. I hope my mouse isn't on screen. I, I don't think it is. Uh, but also, what we also have to do is we have two slots that we can use right now. Uh, of course, we have five Pokemon, so we'll have to choose uh, which two we can get. Hopefully, I could at least take Kuma, or at, at the very least, like, a follow or something. But only Destiny will tell. Obviously, one, two, and then three, four, five. Let's spin the wheel. We're going to spin it twice, of course, and see which members we're allowed to take. Of course, the rules are simple. Every time we beat a gym, I unlock one slot. If I game over at any point, I lose one slot. So, technically, we could go down to one Pokemon this episode if I game over. Hopefully not, but we, we shall see. Uh, number two, and number four. Well, that's Feebas, first of all, but... Um, ice and... Uh, <laughs> ice and 17... <laughs> All right, this could be rough. However, well, here's the thing. There's a bit. I, I have a bit of a strategy this time around. Uh, well, f okay. First of all, I do want to apologize if my voice sounds hoarse uh, at all. But, but like, yeah, I haven't recorded a video in like a week and a half or something. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna put the EXP share on 17, of course. Um, as we got it that last time uh, by delivering the um, the package or whatever. What the strategy this time around is, is there's a thing called the, um, the secret house or whatever up here. And you can do it a couple times and you can get a, a whole bunch of EXP here. So, yeah, by doing all these puzzles and you can get like bonus items and you can get some EXP. So I'm going to start off by doing this. We've already done the EXP on the left, of course. And, um, with this party, I can't really see myself, um... What is it again? Beating the uh, the fighting gym leader. So what I might actually do is we're actually getting the bicycle very soon. So I might grab that real quickly. And then what I'll do is I'll run around and hatch the egg that we got this time around. Because then that actually might come into play. Um, you know, if it's a psychic or a fighting type or something like that. Not to mention we can actually take on the electric gym leader as well. Uh, it could be a little rough. Um, especially without Kuma. But... Um, yeah, I do know for a fact that Lavatar is still one of the options. So, for the time being, I'm just gonna have to power up ice as much as I can. Oh, you have, uh, Lovey Dovey, or whatever it's called. And you're gonna sing. Okay. Well, what a rough start to the, <laughs> to the episode. It's fine. It's I know, Yeah, it's, it's not fine. <laughs> Let's see, do I have a, um, an awakening, or whatever you want to call it? I guess I do. I guess I'll use a berry. I probably should have thought about that, because that could directly involve in, um, whether we can get Milotic or not. 
uh, in terms of using all the berries, because you need to crush the, ber uh, the berries to increase um, 17's beauty stat, of course. For the time being, it's going to be kind of a rough just training arc for Ice, I think. Um, which is going to be kind of interesting. Oh, he's got a horseshoe, of course. Um, what is it, like, Spore or something? <sighs> I'm going to have to use another one, then. I think it's fine, I think it's fine. At the end of the day, I could always just transfer berries from another cartridge if I really need them. I suppose I'll go for um, this attack, the um, you know, special fang or something. Okay, and you're gonna use a leech seed, of course. That's fine. I can drop him with a quick attack. Will we fall asleep again by using uh, an attack? Could be possible, um, hopefully not. We might even get Eradicate this episode, uh, which could be really exciting. Uh, that'll be the first time we actually get a evolved Pokemon, so that's great. Uh, a Meryl here. I might heal up. I th oh yeah, shit, because of Leech. Um, you know, as much as I... I could have switched it out to 17 to sort of drop him, basically. Uh, or drop her, I should say. Um and kind of use her as a sacrifice for a bit to get rid of Leech Seed. But, I also do want Feebus to gain a bit of, bit of EXP. I know that um, Feebus doesn't learn anything, um, or nothing special, but just the extra levels with like, you know, maybe like a Water Pulse TM or something could go a long way. So, you know, for the time being, it's gonna be a bit of a rough episode, I think. Um, but that's okay. At least all our members are getting uh, a bunch of VXP, which is fantastic. So, there you have it. Uh, again, uh, with the rules, uh, if I do um, black out at any given point, and I go down to one slot, uh, well, in this situation, then, uh, well, actually, if it's one slot, there isn't really much I need to explain, but um, I guess it's the wrong way. I need to go get the password. Uh, but what I was going to say was, you know, if we dropped from three slots to two slots uh, within that episode, then I can't go down to one slot within the same episode, just so it, uh, it is actually somewhat, you know, beatable. Even though I do feel like this is going to be rough, um, but again, like I said, I have played uh, Ruby Sapphire especially uh, multiple, multiple times, so, you know, probably close to over, yeah, probably over like 20 times I've uh, pr played this game start to finish, I think. So, you know, in that regard, I do think this is definitely the game to do it with, um, or do something like this, uh, this with, I should say. But, uh, anywho, okay, let's take a look. Alright, Zigzagoon, not a problem at all. Again, this is a good training arc for, uh, arc for ice, I think. And you missed your attack, that's, <laughs> that's fine, I guess. I'll take a bit of a sippy, as I usually do. Oh my god, you did a ton of damage there. Have you ever- have you guys ever had, um, mice in your walls? I think I've had it once in my life, in one of the houses I lived in, but... Not great, uh, they run around at night time and stuff, it's not fun. But, uh, yeah. Mice are this kind of weird creature where they're clearly, like, really gross in terms of bacteria and stuff, but they're really cute to look at. Like, I don't get why something so cute has to be so vile, you get what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do you guys like mice? <laughs> Actually, I d yeah, I do- I did know a couple people that, like, owned pet mice, um, and stuff like that. Not like guinea pigs or hamsters, I mean, like, actual mice. Um, which was kinda cool. Uh, yeah. I do know that, like, one of the things that all, you know, any friend that's owned stuff like mice or anything like that is, like, yeah, they're super loud at night time when they're, like, running around their little amusement park thingy. Their little wheel, I guess. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. And this guy is, uh, well, his sand attack, um, strategies are really annoying me, to be fair, but... And he's dropping on defense as well. This could be rough. Uh, you're gonna have to hit this. Nice, okay, Ice is the goat, good good stuff, okay, great. Alright, level 7, it's it's something, <laughs> it's something. The EXP share is definitely going to come in handy within this run, I can already tell you that much. And uh, we got the password, of course. Um, I think the item there is just mail, uh, although there might be another battler. Yeah, I'm more interested in the EXP than the actual item, because uh, it's just uh, like a mail thing, I think. So let's just uh, get this uh, extra EXP. I might just leave the mail be. That weirdly rhymed. Um, and then, yeah, we can do it that way. 
But okay, we got uh, Otis coming along. Okay, Otis uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, although, yeah, yeah, I, I should have. I sh yeah. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Well, I knew that could have happened. Um, sweet scent. What does that do? Decrease evasion or something like that? Yeah, it is. Okay. Stunned. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna absorb, suck up my energy. Now, the big issue here, we're gonna be doing, I think, two more? Maybe even one more. Now, th maybe the next one's the Rock Smash one? And if that is the case, then we won't be able to do the, um, this quiz house thing immediately after. Um, which would basically mean that I would have to- I'm going the wrong way. Um, yeah, so that means I, I, I either have to go back to the fighting gym, or I have to take on, um, my rival. And we did choose Mudkip this time, so that means we're going to take on Grovile, which could be an is uh, issue. I know a lot of people really fear uh, Maze Grovile uh, in this route, but I don't know, I never had huge problems. Um, but I mean, obviously I, you know, this team's a bit of a, a, bit of a mess, so <laughs> you know how it is. Um, I, like I said, I, you know, I went, well, I'm going to go for the rule of not grinding in grasslands or anything until I absolutely feel like there's no other issue. On the same topic, I might slightly change a rule um, of the whole, uh, you know, losing slots for my party members. I think playing Pokemon with one party member is just not fun, strategically, uh, and also you can't do any double battles or anything like that, so in that regard, I think, like, two members will be my absolute minimum. Um, and so basically what I'll do is, yeah, if I do blackout here, I'm just gonna stay with the same two party members. Um, but yeah, you know, let's say I had four party members and I blacked out, then I'll go down to three, you know, uh, just to make things interesting there. But at least for the time being, there is another strategy where we could try, and that is uh, cracking this egg. And no, I didn't mean that in a coming out sort of way. Um, and then seeing what that is. Um, but either way, I'm gonna have to level up the, um, the EXP for that as well, because it will come out as a level 5 Pokémon. But we could try that. I think now is the best time to do it, that- that way I'll have three party members, um, you know, immediately. So... Yeah, okay. Well, I suppose I'll spend about 25 minutes cracking this egg. I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> Alright, wish me luck. Oh, shit. I was watching a video. Oh, okay. Um, comment. Uh, who was it? I think this is one of the recent ones. One second. Okay, I found the comment. Thank you so much, LaserPants3293. And this is actually one of the most, um, the more recent comments, I think. But yeah, oh yes, I missed that post before. This is a really nice idea for a playthrough, since it seems like you still accept new ones. My favorite is Minectric, so here we are. I guess we'll call it Laser then. It's a, oh, it's a boy. Cool, cool. Alright, um, I don't know, well, hmm, I'm just thinking, I mean, he could be useful in the, uh, oh, sorry, days are, um, my bad, um, yeah, he could be useful in the, the fighting gym, just in terms of normal damage, like, it's not gonna do anything crazy. Let's take a look at the stats, uh, cause we, we do that here, I guess. Um, Hiraishin. Okay, so it's like Thunder Pole, I guess. Basically, all electric type uh, attacks go to uh, him, uh, which means this is usually a double battle skill. Uh, I know Rhydon has it as well, which is a really cool combination from back in the day, I do remember. Um, but anyway, it's okay. 19 HP, 10 attack, 9 defense, 12 special attack, 9 special defense, and 12 speed. Pretty high speed, and he has Tackle and Dinja. What's this again? Like, lightning, um, I don't know, lightning wave or something? Thunder wave? Um, that's a Saint Seiya move. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, I suppose, uh, paralyzing enemies is gonna be nice. It's also nice that we have an electric type. So, you know what? I'm sorry, Seventeen, but for the time being, I think it's more important for, uh, Laser here to get, uh, the XP, of course. I still haven't particularly decided whether we want to do it well. See, the issue here now is I could potentially lose, like, you know, 
someone that isn't 17 if I lose this battle. But the same thing is, I actually can't do any more EXP grinding. Like, the only two options I have right now is the Fighting Gym, which is gonna be rough for Ice, or it's, um, uh, May, whatever her name is. Let's see here, I, um, I wonder if I could... If I could... Oh, I do have an orange berry. Okay. I do that, because it might be handy. Um, at least Rattata can be quick, at least. I think she has a Whalema, a Grovile, and an Electric, I want to say. It could definitely be rough for Ice here, but I really don't have much other choice. Well, actually, there is a there is a youngster here, which could be handy. Also, mm, it really depends, because if we can stun with Electric first, then things could be slightly easier. Um, I don't know, actually, but I do notice that um, the uh, this move does miss quite a bit, so I should probably yeah like as strong as it is um god oh aaron um that's yeah that's kind of rough um let's see did oh you had a steel okay well at least that's a dark move that oh really i didn't know that dark was weak to um normal i feel like we're gonna be here for a while um and you missed it because of mud slap oh my god okay Oh, that's rough. That is... that's rough. This is... oh, this is gonna be a rough one. <laughs> Metal Claw as well. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's... That just happened. Um... Well then... Uh... What I might... Do... Is, um... Because we're definitely gonna black out here. I might just reshuffle... For the two Pokemon that we, uh, take, because, uh... Also, I didn't know that water resisted metal. What? That's the thing? <laughs> I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, okay. There you go. I don't know if I've ever seen Electric from behind. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever used him in a single playthrough. Well, we got wiped out. Um, let's choose two new units, because, uh, units, this isn't Fire Emblem. Two new, uh, monsters, of course. Of course, uh, yeah, the only reason why I'm gonna reshuffle is because I kind of can't see it happening with, um, you know. So I think it is best, uh, it is our best interest. We'll go back down to two members, but, uh, we're gonna have to, you know, we might as well, uh, reshuffle. So I'm gonna change that to six, of course. We got one and four. I think a follower has joined back again. Yes, he has. So, uh, well, I'm sorry that was a quite short-lived laser, but hey, at least we saw you in battle once. I'm gonna keep laser in the team for a second because, actually, you have the Everstone, so I guess it's fine. Um, all right. Well, in that case, what's good about this is we actually got two rather good members. Uh, the only issue here is either way, a follow is gonna be a bit rough because, um. He's gonna be weak against May, uh, not May, Brendan's Electric, as well as Grovile. Uh, and he's also weak against, um, the Fighting Gym Leader as well, with the Ice Attribute. So... Now, he could be useful against Grovile, because Grovile is weak to Ice moves. Um... <laughs> we, ha we have a Pokémon called Ice, and we have a Pokémon that can use Ice. Um... But yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be a little rough for now. But for the time being, we can at least get rid of the Aron, um, because <laughs> we now have water, I guess, so that's good. That's something. Oh nice, another Electric. Just to, uh, remind us that, uh, well, yeah, Laser, you contributed somehow, I, I guess. <laughs> okay, we have a critical hit, uh, booster, I guess, okay. I do know there's quite a lot of hidden items around here, and the reason behind that is because the rival gives you the, um, the dowsing machine. Of course, uh, afterwards, af after the battle. So, yeah, basically, yeah, no, so I, I think I remember a couple of them, but I don't remember all of them, obviously. So, for the ones I do remember, I will uh, definitely pick up those items. For the time being, nice uh, critical hit, you really didn't need that, but that's okay. 141, oh, right, yeah, because we don't have the XP share anymore. Um, or, you know, I left that on laser. Just so that uh, a fellow has, well, it doesn't, yeah, the Everstone. I mean, I could have taken it off, I mean, you know. Um, Celio isn't until like 37 or something, so I really didn't need that right now, but... 
you know, I just thought it'd be annoying just to keep uh, removing it and, and adding it back on, so. But yeah, Metal Claw is doing quite a lot of damage, I have to admit, but... Okay, at least uh, if I can uh, knock out this uh, this guy here. That's great. So, the question now is... Uh, that's pretty good day XP. We're gonna have to switch back into Ice now. The next uh, Pokemon is Electric, of course. So... I think if we can get... Hmm, I don't know, because either way the Electric Gym Leader is going to be rough, unless Ice... Yeah, Ice tends to eradicate and does enough damage with stuff like... Um, Yes, the, all the normal moves and stuff. Now, what's kind of lucky right now is for the next about a half hour or so, like for the rest of the episode basically, I can't lose another team member. So we're kind of stuck with these two kind of powerhouses right now. So that might actually be the right opportunity to do the third gem. Um, is there an item here? No. Nope. Okay, maybe over here. I'll have to check after this world encounter, I suppose, but... Nice, Zigzagoon, okay. Um... So I'm going to have to heal up, obviously, because uh, Brendan is right around the corner, but uh, can I... No, I can't do that. Alright, uh, let's see here. Um, now, obviously, I could go back, but uh, at the same time... Um, also, I'm pretty sure the... I think Phoebus likes the... Or, sorry, the beauty stat is increased by bitter fruits. Uh, and this one is a spicy fruit, so I guess it's fine. Uh, either way, that's okay. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and heal up my Pokemon with the potion here, and, uh, we'll jump back in. Alright, I, I guess I'm ready. Um, 17 and 15, to be fair, level-wise, we're actually not too bad, but the question is, can we take out a Groval right now? And, uh, I suppose there's only one way to find out that answer, so <laughs> let us take a look. Okay. Oh, it's a Numel, okay. Or Numel, I don't know. Uh, let's see, do I want to switch over? The only issue with doing that- no, actually, I think it's fine. Uh, well, to be- yeah, to be fair, even if we do a game over, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, because, uh, Ember does normal damage, I believe? Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Alright, we're gonna start using Water Gun, um, Numel is really, yeah, easy to get rid of, because of the four times weakness to water, of course. Okay, you're gonna switch out, you're gonna probably go to Gravel now. He went for Whalmer, okay. I guess this is for Ice. We are slightly underleveled compared to his Pokemon, so it's a little bit rough. Um, also, this battle theme is amazing. Uh, okay, he just gave us a free turn with Splash. I know he has a rollout, which is the thing I'm scared about. Do I go for... Mm, I'm gonna go for... And I missed. Okay, that's not that's not great. You're going for your uh, Growl, of course. Drop out attack. I suppose I'll go Cut. I'm pretty sure Cut has the highest attack, right? Am I crazy? Um, I'll take a look in a second. Let me just try a quick attack just to see the damage output. Okay, it's about the same. If we keep healing and doing damage, that is rough. That is rough, but I think Cut's doing more. Maybe slightly more. Okay. Okay, nice. Nice Iron Berry usage. We love to see it. We love to see it. Now, okay, that healed up by 10, so I will use the... You know what? I'm just gonna go all out. I'm gonna use the, um, the Soda Pop, because, uh... That extra 3 HP, I'm telling you, it's gonna come in handy. I, I guarantee it. Okay. Let me just double check what, um... Well, we'll take a look. So, Quick Attack's 40, uh, Cut is 50, and... Oh! Okay, Special Fang does 80. No wonder. Okay, well I suppose I'll try and go for that. I know it also has critical properties, so it's definitely the strongest attack we have. Um, so let's see how much that does. Okay, not bad, not bad. If he doesn't heal, we should be good. I'm going to be safe. I know I- We could always buy more Soda Pops, it's fine. I'll heal you up now. And, yep, here come the rollouts. This is what I was worried about. I think you can tank one, right? Okay, good. You'd probably tank another one. Obviously, rollout is a move that gets stronger and stronger every turn, so... It's good that we got rid of him, though. Fantastic. Okay. A follow is level 16. Great. Now, back to Numel. Who do I want to give this to? I'll give it to... Ice? Yeah, okay. I'm going to give it to Ice for a reason. I want to get Raticate because I'm gonna, that's going to be a huge... Um, that's going to be a huge increase in attack output, which is definitely going to come in handy with the Lightning Gem Leader coming up next. Now, do I... I guess we could go Powder Snow... 
or um or ice ball or something like that. Let me just double check what the uh, the attacks do. Level twenty um Gorovo here. Let's see. Uh, well, uh, I could also set up hail, but uh, ice ball is thirty and oh, it does more damage each time you hit. Is that worth it? Uh, wait, what is powder snow's? Oh, okay, you can actually freeze with powder snow. There's a chance of freezing. We go for powder snow. It's more uh, consistent. And of course, absorb is gonna hurt quite a bit. Okay, I did sort of expect that, but I think he has. Let's see. Now, do I heal up? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try healing up once just to see. Again, it's fine if we use healing items. We we bought them to use them. It's fine. Now, it is unfortunate that Gravel is a lot faster than us. Okay, at least you can tank one of them. Which, again, it's going to be rough in terms of the damage output if he keeps healing. Nice, okay. Um, free hit. Do I heal? No, I'm just going to go for it. Okay. I'll go for one turn. Hmm. Is he going to stay uh, solid next turn as well? If we can hit this, we've won, but screw it, let's go for it. Good, okay. A follow is coming in clutch, okay, cool, I'll take it. Uh, that's the entire rival battle, I'm pretty sure, right? Okay, well I guess Grofell wasn't that bad after all. <laughs> you guys are just weak for saying that Grofell is difficult. No, no, I'm kidding. Um, maybe he is difficult to some people, depending on their lineups, but... Nice, okay. Good stuff, that was a little rough, but that's okay. Okay, and uh, he gives us the dowsing machine, of course, which means there's going to be more hidden items around here. Uh, but for the time being, he's going to go up uh, north. I will cut. I'm going to go heal, because uh, it's a bit of a waste um, using all those items. Let me just double-check how much money I have. 4,000 yen. Um, could buy more soda pops. No, we're going to go south to get the fighting gym leader at some point anyways, so I think it's fine for now. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a sec after I healed up. Alright, we are back. We are so back, as uh, Roche Jacob says. But anyways, um... Plusle? Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Which one do you guys prefer? Plusle? Are you Team Plusle or Team Minin? I don't even know if I have a favourite. Maybe it's Plusle, though. Plusle seems more positive, whereas, uh... Well, Minin seems more negative, obviously. Uh, but anyways, okay. We're here with the optimism, uh, sorry, the optimism here on this channel after all, so, uh, you know how it is. Uh, that might be a hidden item above here. There's so many wild encounters here. What is going on? Um, okay. Now, of course, this is the generation where you can actually cut grass using, um, the overworld of cut. Um, I knew it. Ooh, okay, a great ball. Sure, I'll take it. So, what you can actually do is, nope, not the ducks, um... If you, I mean, I don't know, maybe some of the young'uns don't know this trick, but you can actually cut the grass, yep, um, it's only nine tiles, so it's not great, but it's something. Uh, of course, we got the, um, the collector here, okay. So, the collector tends to have kind of interesting Pokemon like Grimer and Magnemite and stuff. Oh, a, um, Lombre, of course, took me a second, um, to remember the English name. But anyways, there you go. Nice, one hit, okay. Again, Ice is, uh, getting pretty cracked. Uh, actually, does he evolve at level 18 or level 20? Um, of course, he's got Nuzleaf as well, which is definitely my favourite of the two. Um, I really like, um, Shiftry. Again, I had to think for a second for the English name. But, uh, yeah, no, Shiftry is such a cool Pokémon. Dark Grass? Not to mention, it's based on a Tengu, which is, like, horrifying, but also really cool, like... Of course, of course I'm gonna like him, you know? Okay, it's level 20. I'm thinking- what am I thinking of with level 18? I know there's a normal type that evolves at level 18, I think. It could be, um, uh, Centret. Centret? Is that right? Ferret or whatever? Um, I think that one might be level 18. Of course, we got uh, Abra, that's gonna be easy, and we, we can just use uh, Thief here to uh, do some dark damage. And uh, that doesn't do as much as I thought, okay. Please don't be fighting. Oh my god, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Out of all, what, 16 types? You just so happen to have fighting type. Okay. Of course, that was, um... What is it called? I'm so incompetent when it comes to English Pokemon commentary. That's what I'm starting to realize. Um, but... Hidden power? Is that what it's called? I feel like that's the right move. 
Um, yeah, it's, it distributes a random typing. Um, and yeah, I guess it was fighting at that time. Because uh, normal is only weak to fighting, of course. I don't know about this, uh, like now, like in current generations, because, you know, there's all this new stuff, but at least back then, uh, it was only weak to uh, fighting, of course. But anywho, we're gonna get the uh, the bike soon, which means it's gonna be much easier for opening up eggs for one, but also we can uh, battle all the trainers on the cycling road in a second. Uh, which is gonna be kind of interesting, because most of their Pokemon is like Magnemite, which Ice is gonna have a hard time taking on, because, um, you know, normal type moves aren't gonna really work on metal, or, or steel, I should say. Um, so it could be an, uh, a fellow training arc for a little bit, which is great. Um, and yeah, there you go. It's really interesting to think that there was a generation without steel type at one point, with uh, Gen 1. So like, Magnemite is just like, it's not tanky at all in Gen 1, which is really interesting to think about. Um, you know, and I guess dark type as well wasn't really a thing. Although I don't know if any Gen 1 Pokemon are dark types. Uh, you know, there's like dark type moves, but I'm actually not entirely too sure. There might be one I'm forgetting, but I think for the most part, it's like, yeah. So metal typing was added to Magnemite and Magneton um, from Gen 1. Maybe there's more? I don't know. But either way, there you go. Good stuff, cool. I really like Steelix as well. Steelix is great. Um, but okay, of course I'm going to be picking up all these berries, because uh, we're probably going to need them for Feebath. I'm going to have to look up guides with uh, which which berries are the best, because I'm not entirely too sure. Do you know, actually, you know, there is one thing we can do that's really interesting. Hmm, actually, no, forget I said that. Well, keep that in mind. I can't do it right now, I just realized, but uh, there is a Surf on the Land glitch in Ruby and Sapphire, which you guys might not know about. Um, but you need Surf, and you need the Dirt Bike. Um, so of course I'm gonna get the, uh, yeah, okay. And I'm gonna get the Dirt Bike, of course, not the Mac Bike. Um, cause the Mac Bike's just not fun to use. Uh, I mean, obviously it's gonna be good for, you know, opening up eggs and stuff, but for the time being I'm gonna use the Dirt Bike. Um, it's a bit weird and a bit annoying that for some reason, you have to keep coming back to this guy if you want to switch your bike around, like, very strange stuff. But, uh, anyways, I'm gonna, uh, put that to select as we usually do. What is the select button on this? Not that. What is the select button? Oh, okay, it's the Y button. And of course, my favorite, you can do little tricks, like so. You can flip from, uh, back to forward, of course, do a little flip to the side. Can you flip- I- hold on. Okay, no, you can't actually jump into a door. Alright, interesting. But yeah, basically, all right, I'm gonna tell you how the surf glitch works. Um, we'll, we will try it on camera. Um, but basically, let's say that this white tile was a surf tile, right? So what you basically have to do, if I remember correctly, is you have to jump and press A at the same time, so that the game thinks... Um, oh, sorry, I think... Uh, it's been a hot minute, I'm gonna have to look it up again, but we'll definitely do it. But you have to jump and press A at the same time, and then a prompt will come up being like, do you want to surf here, even though it's land? And you can basically surf around this entire city <laughs> on the uh, the little surf, like, fish, I guess, if that makes sense. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We're, yeah, definitely gonna check that one out. But, anywho, what we can do, we can do a couple things here. Uh, we can get a rock smash, of course. Uh, we can't use it immediately, we can talk to this girl and uh, give her the harbor mail that I was talking about, I think, last time, to get the coin case, um, which I am probably not going to do the arcade games, but one thing we can do, and one thing that is helpful about the coin case, is it allows us to buy some of the coin-related items, uh, specifically the uh, TMs in the... Uh, I won't be doing it now, but once we get a ton of money, we can exchange the money for coins, and then we can use those coins to get uh, TMs like Flamethrower and all that kind of thing. So that's going to be good as well. Of course, over here there's the XP uh, city, and then down here in the cycling road, and then of course to the left as well. There's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, minor battles, um, and then hope. Mm, if I if I feel confident, enough, well, there actually isn't much I can even lose, so I might as well even just do the electric gym this episode. Um, I know like the gyms are out of order, but again, like it's just going to be much easier. First of all, I think uh, the main thing is to get uh, ice. Okay, stunned, I guess. Um, but we're gonna- okay, nice, nice flinch. Um, we're gonna try and get Ace- uh, Ace? What? Ice, um, 
to level 20, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna get Eradicate after this battle, which is great. Uh, focus Energy, I don't need that. Um, it is really interesting, I remember very... Not vividly, what's the right word? Like, very clearly what some English move names are, and then others I'm just like, I have no idea what this is. Um, so it's really interesting. I think a lot of it comes from Pokemon Go, and playing a lot of that. Um, I... I'm gonna switch out for now. Uh, because if Ice is alive, he can evolve. If not, it's fine. So for the time being, I'll try and use Powder Snow and then try and do it that way, of course. Um, I don't know how tanky a follow is. Uh, clearly he can tank a couple um, super effective moves. So maybe he might be alright in the Electric Gym as well? Using stuff like Powder Snow? Okay, that is a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. Do I drop a follow now and then heal up? Um, do I heal up ice? That could be the best. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Um, do it that way. Okay, cool. Free turn. I'll take it. Uh, she tried to go for, um, stun, stun powder, whatever it's called. Um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, paralysis powder, whatever. And, uh, okay. Cool. I guess we'll go ice ball to change things up a bit. If I was gonna drop down, that's fine. I will give the XP to... Yeah, we can always heal up. Again, this isn't Nuzlocke or anything like that. So that's completely fine. And I'll go back to an ice. Um, ice could probably tank a hit. Um, so I'm not too fussed about the paralysis right now. The healing is gonna be kind of annoying, but here we go. Another, another good old bite. Good old... Uh, Nor, of course. <laughs> okay. Nor is such a funky word. Like, why is it spelled G N A W? Like, <laughs> all right. Time for the evolution. I wonder if you guys have seen the Ruby Sapphire Sprite of Radicate. Um, because I know that. Uh, well, I definitely hadn't when I first saw it. What? Of course. Why did I say the most obvious thing ever? Anyways, whatever. Um, wait, here we are. Okay. If you want to see some jank animation, go watch the em uh, the emerald animation of Radicate. He like jumps in and out of the frame, it's really weird. Uh, of course, he's gonna learn Scary Face. Do I need that? Let's take a look. Um, it, it decreases speed by two, I believe? Two statuses? But do we need it is the question. We, we do have Quig Attack. Um, yeah, I don't think I need it, it's fine. Okay. Nice. Uh, and now we do have that, so again, yeah, I'm gonna cut because I'm gonna go heal up, but I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh yeah, while we are here, I might talk about this guy because this guy is unique to every single copy of Ruby Sapphire. Um, oh, this guy just tells stories, I think. Yeah, this guy's not that interesting. I think the guy with red hair, like, it's- no, it's not nicknames. I- I forget what it was now. But, um, yeah, there's like three different colored, uh, hair dudes there. And it base- uh, it's completely based on your save data. Which is uh, some interesting stuff. I believe some of these rocks have... Maybe the one down here? Um, nice, okay. So it is a heart scale which we can use uh, in the, one of the northern cities to get some um, forgotten moves, of course, which could come in handy at some point. Um, I think? I mean, they're all born from eggs, so I might not actually need that, but anyways. That's okay. I... Ew, I have never seen Radicate's back sprite in this game. That looks bizarre, but anyways, okay. Suppose I'll go for... I know that he has shark skin, so that's gonna do a bit of damage back to us, but that's okay for now. Yeah, it's... oh, it's only three damage, it's fine. Okay, easy, too easy. I really like Carvana and, uh, Sharpedo. Uh, quite a lot, actually. So, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but... They're definitely some of my favorite fish Pokemon, for sure. Of course, we got a guitarist. Terry the guitarist, I guess. Alright, so this is the issue I was wondering. How much are you doing with this move? Also, we should probably take a look at, um, Radicate's new- Oh my lord, okay. Uh, I kinda do wanna take a look at Radicate's new attack stat, because I think it will be something rather high. I would not be surprised in the slightest. Alright, Thundershock, that could be a bit annoying, but... Yep, okay, that's exactly kinda what I was- Hoping wasn't gonna happen, but alright, that's fine. For the time being, I'm gonna try and uh, give all my EXP to Ice, because I think he's gonna have a higher chance at doing more damage and being super useful in the Electric Gem battle, which I might actually do after this, and Confusion as well, okay. That's rough, that is actually really rough. Um, yeah, okay, you're gonna hit yourself. 
that's really rough. Actually, while we're here, let's take a look at your new stats. So, 41 in attack, 49 in speed. That's really good. That is actually really good. Surprisingly cracked. I've never used Radicate on a, a party before. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting. But, uh, I think... I think Magnemite is normal damage with Water Gun. I, I don't think water is like... I don't think it's resistant to water, at least. Uh, Magnemite is an interesting Pokemon because it doesn't have a gender. Um, so I believe you can't make eggs if it's two Magnemites, but if it's Ditto, then you can. Which is, doesn't really make too much sense, but yeah. I guess so. Um, okay, cool. If you don't... Okay, nice. You snapped out of confusion. Great. Alright, I guess Magnemite for now is just going to be a job for a, a follow here. A follow 8, of course. Oh, um, Wishmo. I guess I'll give it to a follow as well. Just because Eradicate is stunned right now, so... Might as well do it that way. And, uh, good old Water Gun there. Cool. Alright, you're gonna slap, that's fine. Um... Yeah. So I think we're gonna go for the Electro Drum now. Even though that could be a bad idea, but it's fine. Um... And then we'll see how much we can do. Of course, because Radicate's actually a bit of a powerhouse when it comes to hitting, we might be okay. And if not, uh, then we'll end it off there regardless, even if we win or lose. And if we do lose, then there's also the left side as well as the cycling road to train up on. Um, so I'm sure things will get a lot better and a lot easier going forward. <laughs> it was just a little rough with the fighting gym, I have to mention. Oh, we have the battle against uh, Mitsuru here. Okay, sure. I'll... Uh, Michael, or whatever his English name is. <laughs> um, whatever, it's fine. And, uh, I believe, yeah, he only has, like, one Ralts, right? So, this is... Although, this is a really, like, story-relevant, um, battle, I think, which is really interesting, because, uh, his whole trait here is, like, I'm ready for a gym battle, and then we have to show him that he's, that he's not ready. Just like that. Um... And, like, that's the whole kind of story arc, right, for the time being, where he's just like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go back home now. Um, yeah, see? He's just like, trainers are so strong. I'm not ready for this. And then, yeah. So, um, uh, we showed him what's up. And, uh, yeah, nice, okay. And we can go down to his house to the left, of course, but we'll do that, uh, next time. We'll explore that town and that side later on. For the time being, I guess we'll take on the electric gym later, or we'll do our best to, at least. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is, again, like I said, completely out of order. This is our second gym challenge. Um, now this one is actually unskippable. Um, like I said, well, as we just did, uh, I skipped over the fighting gym leader, which is something that is possible. He stunned us, that's great. Um, you know, this, it is a good attack, but I do feel like it misses a little too much. Uh, but yeah, no, the Electric Gym Leader you can't skip over because you need Rock Smash to prog uh, progress uh, north or to the left, either way. So, yeah, either way. Um, okay, you're still stunned, that's pretty annoying. Um, he's using Raw, of course. Okay. Stunned again, great. Leah, okay. God, Raticate's tail is so gross because it looks so real. This. Ice, come on, this is like the fourth turn that you're stunned. Are you really that... that shocked about... Five turns in a row, okay. <laughs> what is this jank Pokemon battle? I have no idea what's going on right now. Finally, okay, fantastic, thanks. Alright, well. 100 AXP, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, Coil, uh, Magnemite, sorry. Um, Coil, of course, being the Japanese name. Um, I'll switch over to Follow for, for some water damage. Not like water damage, as in like water damage to a house, you know, like... Oh, you know, my house got damaged by water damage, which basically means your roof is all... ...destroyed from all the rain and storming and stuff. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about, but, uh, well, water damage, clearly. Uh, let's see how much Thundershock does. Okay, that's rough. That's... That's rough. If Hollow is definitely not the Magnemite Killer. Although... Sonic Boom, okay. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to do, uh, you know, paralysis or something. Uh, Ice could probably take this guy out. It is a bit rough with the gym leader. Because he does have a magnet, uh, magneton. Magneton? Is that right? The triple one. 
Um, so, you know how it is, but, god, you, you really do keep hitting yourself today. You know what, if you fall from this, it's fine. We'll just go back to this. Okay, good stuff, okay. See, it's the, um, what is it called again? Placebo? No, is that right? No. It's like the opposite, you know? You just say like, oh, it's fine, like, it's fine if I lose, and then you actually win, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go kill, because, yeah, we're pretty tattered after that one. Alright, we're back, uh, let us continue. I think there is, what, three more? Yeah, three more battlers and then the gym leader. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. I believe there's more trainers in Emerald, and Emerald has a weird habit of doing that with a lot of places. They will just add, like, a bunch of new trainers that just weren't there previously, I guess. Oh my god, okay, Thunderbolt, really? I'm actually okay, that only did 10 damage, but that- that did take me by surprise. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm like, that's like Pikachu's go-to move, right? Uh, Jumon Bolt, of course. 10 million volts. Um, I think it's called Thunderbolt in uh, English, I'm pretty sure. I really do like the animation for Gen 3's Thunderbolt, though. I don't know, it's just very... very dynamic. It's cool stuff. Right, another guitarist, cool. Voltorb, okay. I love how Voltorb actually sounds like he's saying Voltorb in his growl. Uh, if we find another Voltor, well, I'll, I'll try and be quiet, and, uh, you guys can listen to what I'm talking about. See? See? <laughs> he sounds like he's saying Voltor, but anyways, okay. Level 22. Another one? Listen, listen. See? See? <laughs> anyways, I don't know what I'm trying to prove here. Uh, well, I'm trying to prove that Voltor is saying his name, I guess. I love the the theory that's just like, oh, Voltorb is a haunter that haunted a Pokeball. It's like, oh yeah, I guess their eyes do kind of look similar. Um, another one. Sonic Boom does, what, 22, I think? Sonic Boom is one of those weird moves that only does a set amount of damage. Um, actually, if he doesn't... No, it's fine. I was going to say, if he doesn't die from that, um, that could have been rough. I, I almost don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center. I know it's a bit of a waste to keep using Soda Pops. Actually, I might have regular healing. Uh, I have four, yeah, okay. That will do the trick. Okay. We'll do one more, cool. And, uh, it seems like, uh, ice can pretty much tank most electric types if it's not the metallic kind, and by that I mean magnemites and magnetons. So that's good, that is, that's great. I, I believe also you get, um, Thunderbolt after this, um... No, mm, no, no, you get, you get the other one, you get, what, Thunder Wave or whatever. Um, but I believe a lot of these normal types can actually learn, uh, Thunder moves. Uh, and obviously we do have Electric as well, so we, you know, that might be a bit better. Uh, he used Attack, okay, again, alright. <laughs> um, I don't particularly know the reason why Game Freak even decided to add moves like Protect and, um, Detect and stuff like that. Because, like, all it does is kind of, you know, elongate the battle, I feel. <laughs> now, I get that there's spe specific combos you can do with Leech Seed or something like that, but, you know, it's still very strange. I don't particularly understand the uh, relevance. Alright, let's uh, take him on, I guess. Alright. Now, um, this guy, Tessen, of course. I couldn't give you an English name. I was thinking about it for a second, I'm like, I remembered Roxanne. Definitely don't remember this guy. I don't know, Big T, I guess. Um, alright, I'm gonna use, um, this again that I still don't know the name of. Okay, Thunder Wave. Do I switch to a follower? Screw it, we're gonna do it. This could be rough. This could be rough. He, I feel like he's gonna use... Okay, never mind, I spoke too soon. I was gonna say, I think he's gonna use, um... Uh... Alright, a follow is, uh, down with, uh, one hit. This could be rough. This could definitely be rough. Um, the paralys uh, paralysis? Yeah, I can't say that word. Now, because I'm stunned, I'm always going to go second, so I might as well just use the fang attack. Uh, let's see, I'm going to heal... Yeah, I also probably should have attached a berry to ice now that I think about it. Sonic Boom's fine, Sonic Boom does 22. It is a bit rough, but because I know how much it's going to do... Oh no, I, I guess it isn't 22, I guess it's 20. Um, but yeah, just keep using the Soda Pops, like... I bet your Ice's, um, stomach is just gargling from all the car carbonation here, but that's fine. You missed the Sonic Boom, cool. <sighs> okay, that was rough. That's okay. Now, we are in this nice zone where he's not gonna heal up, 
because he, he the what is it again like the NPC uh, or the the AI doesn't think it's healing zone um, which is great all right Voltorb I am going to heal just in case now again ice is doing great in terms of the attack stat that's fantastic all these are getting boosted as well so another sonic boom okay <sighs> that's rough I think oh, is that game over no, it's not. And you missed. Okay, that is... That is rough. <laughs> um, Spark actually doesn't do as much as I thought, which is good. He's actually favoring it over uh, Sonic Boom, weirdly enough. Oh my god, stop getting stunned, please. Um, okay, good. Can you one-shot at least, please? Please? Okay, good. Cool. Lot of Zun. Ice is doing fantastically. Is it Manectric or is it... No, it's it's Magneton. I think Manectric is in uh, Emerald, of course. Uh, so yeah, the, the parties are different based on which version you're playing. Okay, yeah, I was talking about this move that you get after this battle. How much are you getting hit by with this? Oh, that's rough. That is... That is rough. We might need a training arc, now that I think about it. We might just need a training arc. Alright, that's rough. That's rough. Okay. Now... 23, huh? Should I try again? I mean, if I do try again... The, the upsides of trying again is that we're stuck with this party, right? So we can actually try and... That's kind of like the strategy in a sense. Um, I think you just need to press this one. Yeah, it's piss easy. Um, let me try... Hmm... The question is, do I want a free heal? Wait, hold on, before that, I think I should be buying super potions or something. Um, oh damn it. Um, I am gonna try this one more time, I'll see you guys in a second. I'm gonna go over to the, the um, the, the store, the shop, and uh, get some items. I think I need a bunch of super potions. Yeah, I think seven's fine. And while we're on, what we'll, sorry, while we're here, I might as well sell some stuff that we don't need, right? If there is anything, I think the status boosting things I don't really need. Because, you know, they take a, a turn to use, so, wait, was it a fact guard? Oh, I see. Um, soft sand we could hold on to, I guess. And, uh, antidote. Okay. Sure, I think it's fine for now. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the gym leader and let's give it one more try. If we can't do it, then I'll end things off there. But anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, here we are. Um, I'm thinking of... There's two strategies I can use. I can either use the... Give an orange berry, or I could give a crub... Crubbo berry, I guess. Which is the lightning... Um, it heals up stun. That's probably a better thing to do. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just for this gym. Alright, now the question is, well, we should be fine in terms of most, like, yeah, it's Magneton that's the issue. Even though Magnemite is kind of annoying as well, but I can just, this does quite a lot of damage, I can already tell you that much. Mm, I kind of wish it did a little more. Okay, now the berry has already been used. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we could hold out off for a little bit with that, but... That's okay, I suppose. Alright, we'll get one of those in. Nice flinch. Alright, I'm gonna go another one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, great. Not stunned, and also over to the second Pokemon. This is going better than it was the first time. So, uh, again, Ice might actually hard carry this. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna go again. You can probably one-shot if you can hit. You're not gonna one-shot. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I am going to use... Quick attack, never mind, you're gonna heal up. You're gonna heal up. Um, how much does quick attack do? I'm gonna have to use this if I, if I wanna drop him. Okay, cool. Now, what I could do, I could sandwich a follow so we could heal up ice, because I do think a follow is not gonna do too much here. Um, but if we sandwich a follow, we can heal, we can fully heal up ice and then try and go for the, the fang attack again. Do it that way. 
Um, so I'm gonna go back to bag. Let's heal up. Uh, I just have the regular potion, which is gonna do 20, which is perfect. Uh, for that amount lost by Psych Boom. Okay, of course, this attack can never miss. So it's rough. It really is rough. Uh-huh, okay. Um, alright. So, uh, this is gonna be kind of rough, I think, but for the time being... Do Fang attack. Let's see. Oh, that is not a lot. You can go for the stun. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I think either way... Twent? Okay. Mm, of course you're gonna get stunned. I think we can take... Alright, now we have to heal. Um, damn it. Just, uh, yeah, the hit rate of that move is really rough, I must admit. For the time being, I suppose we'll heal up. I think... Yeah, he can tank one of these. I think. So it's really gonna be a battle of just healing as much as I can. Wait, 35. He did... He did 30 damage? Or 30, yeah, like 29 damage? I can go again, it's fine. I think. I hope. Please? Okay, yep. We are fine. We might be able to push through this. Um... It is gonna be rough. It is absolutely without a doubt gonna be rough, but... We might... Oh yeah, okay. So if that does 29 to 30 damage... Okay, I'm gonna have to heal now. But that's okay, we're fully healed now after this. So... And if you can stop using, um, a Thunder Wave here... Um, or like, if he runs out of usages... Oh, that was close, he was gonna use Confuse Ray. That's fine. Okay. Now, are you gonna heal? You're not gonna heal? Okay, you use Sonic Boom. And we missed, that's fine, but luckily... What is good is we know that he's not in healing range now. And I feel like if we can land one more Fang attack, we might actually have this. Uh, it might just be a little bit more than... How much damage output I'm doing? You missed Sonic Boom, great. Free hit. Let's see, how much is that doing? Please! Thank you, Ice, you are the champion. You are the absolute champion. We actually soldiered through and we actually beat him. Okay. We beat uh, Tessin, of course. 2,300 yen. Cool. Good stuff. And we got the Dynamo badge. Good stuff. I, I really wanted... Because there's like fan-made like Etsy things of like gym leader badges. I really wanted the, the Hoenn gym leader badges at one point. Um, you know, just... It, and it comes in a little case that you can display. Um, but yeah, I never got around to actually doing that. If, if you guys have any, like, fan-made gym badges, then uh, let me know how good the quality is, because, uh, that did always interest me. Now, uh, I know that I can teach, um, Thunder Wave to Radicate, but I think it's probably better to give it to, um, Laser, of course, to commemorate him joining in on this series for one, but also just because of that, uh, status boost, of course, so let's just do that real quick. Now again, Ice was the absolute champion this time around, and uh, it was great that we got our first uh, evolution of the series, that was really nice. Um, of course, we could evolve um, Rattata because, um, uh, what was it again, Ice uh, in the comments mentioned that uh, Raticate was their favourite ca uh, character, of course, so. Anyways, let's, uh, before I forget, let's uh, add um, Thunder Wave, or whatever it's called, to uh, Electric here. For laser, of course. Now we can actually shoot lasers, that's great. How much is that? 60 damage, okay. That's pretty good, with uh, 12 special attack, I guess. You have 47 attack, 56 speed, Jesus Christ, okay. Well, uh, ice is going hard. But anywho, I'm gonna end off here. I'm gonna save uh, right at this table here. So hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Community Shuffle Pokemon Sapphire. I'll see you guys next time with some more. Of course, if you haven't left your favourite Pokemon down in the comments below, then please feel free to do so. The more the merrier at the end of the day. So uh, yeah, I uh, fully appreciate it. Anyways, I'm gonna end things off here. So hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.